everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making this cute uh, cup cozy or uh, travel mug cozy. Um, this cup cozy just slides right onto your travel mug and it has a cute little heart on it. And it's like an open heart, um, which I was looking online and I couldn't really find anything with an open heart. Um, so I was like making my own and I came up with this one. So I just wanted to share it with everybody. And this uh, cup cozy uses the seed stitch as you can see here. So we single crochet chain one, single crochet in the chain one spaces. And I absolutely love this stitch. It's super easy and really works up fast. So big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn for this quick project today. I'm using two colors. Uh, for my main color, I'm using this Aran Super Saver yarn. This is just an off-white Aran yarn. You can use any color for your main color. And then for the heart, I wanted to ha it to have a little pop in color to it. So I'm using With Love Metallic yarn. And this specific color is like a hot pink. It's a fuchsia color. So you can use the same colors as me or get something um, that you like your favorite colors. You can even use um, red for a red heart. <laughs> get it? Red heart? <laughs> anyway, big thank you to them for providing this yarn. Also, I'm using a G size hook, which is 4.25 millimeters. Uh, you can use a G hook or an H hook, which is 5 millimeters. Totally up to you, uh, but this hook is super fancy. It's actually from the Etsy shop, would be fancy. Uh, so you can find that link in the description of this video to get this crochet hook. I use it in all my video tutorials. I absolutely love it. It's ergonomic, hand carved, handcrafted, and really easy to use, especially when you crochet for a really long time, like me. <laughs> also, you're going to need a scissors and a yarn needle to cut your yarn, sew the heart onto the cup cozy, and just weave in some ends. So those are all the supplies you're going to need. Before we begin, I have to mention there are links in the description of this video so there's a link to all of these supplies plus there's a link to the free written pattern for this heart and cup cozy on my blog yarnutopia.com so you'll be able to find all that information in the description of this video just click on those links and it will take you to their websites also um Big thank you to my dad back there for filming, editing, and uh, taking the photos of all these uh, projects we have here at Yarn Utopia. Uh, he's our videographer, editor, and photographer for all of the videos. So big thank you to him. So now let's just get started and make this quick and easy project. All right, let's make the heart first. And it's a heart applique, so you can actually use this for really anything. So I'm gonna start off with a slip knot. So put your short end over the top of your long end, then fold this little loop down and then pull your long end through there. Just like that, there's your slip knot. Insert your hook and we can start. So for the heart, we are going to chain 24. So yarn over and pull through one, yarn over, pull through, two, I won't make you watch me chain all 24, so just yarn over and pull through and chain 24, and I'll meet you up when I have my 24 chains. All right, here's my chain of 24. Now, without twisting your chain, what we are going to do is flip this over up and kind of fold it up towards your hook, okay? Get rid of this little straggler there. And then go into the very first chain way over here and insert your hook into that. And you can see I actually inserted my hook into that back ridge there. Okay, so there's the chain and there's a back ridge. If you turn the chain toward you, you can see that chain, that back ridge there. I'm gonna do that. And then I'm going to take my working yarn and yarn over and pull it through that chain and through the loop on my hook. Okay, and pull tight, just like that. So there we have a big giant ring. But we're gonna turn this into an open heart. So what we're going to do first is chain up one. So yarn over, pull through one. And in the same chain that we just slip stitched into, we are going to half double crochet in there. So yarn over, go into that same chain, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. And that's a half double crochet. 
Now in the next chain right here, we are going to make the bottom point of our heart. And in there, we are going to double crochet. So yarn over, go into the very next chain. As you can see, I am going to be working in these back ridges of the chain here. So I'm gonna yarn over, go into that very next chain right there, then yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook, and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops. And that's a double crochet. Now for the point, we are going to chain two. One and two. And in that same chain that we just put that double crochet in, we're gonna put another double crochet in there. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that will be the bottom point of our heart. Going into the next chain, we are going to half double crochet in there. So yarn over, go in to this next chain here, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And there's a half double crochet. Now in the next four chains, we are going to put a single crochet in each of those ones. So go into this very next chain right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. The next chain is our second one. The next chain is our third single crochet. And the next chain is our fourth. Perfect. So this is going up the side of the heart. Now in the next one, we are going to put two half double crochets in the next chain. So yarn over, go into this next chain right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then yarn over and go back into that same chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So there's two half double crochets in that one. Now in the, each of the next three chains, we are going to put two double crochets in each one of those for a total of six stitches in those next three chains. So yarn over, go into this next chain right here, then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's two double crochets in that chain. Hop to the next chain here and put two double crochets in there. Two, one, and two. Okay, and the same thing in this next chain here. Yarn over, go in, make your two double crochets. So there's one, and yarn over again, go back in for a second one there. So those three have two double crochets in each one of those. Okay. Then in the next stitch or in the next chain here, we are going to put two half double crochets. So yarn over, go into this next one, this next chain right there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And again, yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then in the next three chains, we are going to single crochet those three chains together. So go into this next chain, yarn over, pull through, go directly into the very next chain, then yarn over and pull through, and then go into the very next chain and yarn over and pull through. So now you have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four of those loops and you've single crocheted three together, okay? And now we're going to make the other hump. So you can see this, we made, we're up here, we're halfway through now. So we just have to finish off this side opposite of what we did this side. So let's continue. We are going to put two half double crochets in this next chain way over here. So yarn over, go into this next chain right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, Yarn over, go back in, and make another half double crochet. Now in each of these next three chains, we are going to put two double crochets in each one of those. Okay, so basically just working opposite of what we did on that first side. So one and two double crochets in that one. 
hop to the next one, two double crochets in this one, and then two double crochets in this next one. One and two. Awesome. Okay, then we're going to put two half double crochets in the next chain. So yarn over, go into this next chain, make two half double crochets. So yarn over and pull through all three loops. Those are half double crochets. Perfect. Now we're just going to single crochet into each of the next four chains, and that should be the remaining chains left because we started this with a half double crochet. So uh, there should be then that half double crochet at the end there. So one, two, three, and yep, there's our last chain right there, four. Perfect. Now we are going to slip stitch to the first half double crochet stitch, okay? Not this chain up one right here. We're gonna go into the half double crochet stitch right here, go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook, just like that. You can chain one, and to fasten off, we're going to cut our yarn long for sewing, and then pull it all the way through that chain one, and pull tight. And you can flip this upside down or right side up, I guess, and kind of shape your little heart how it should look. And if you need to, you can stretch this out and pin it down on something and uh, have it uh, spray it down with some water and let it just dry in the shape that it needs to be if you want to block this. But you actually don't really have to because we are going to be sewing it down into the shape that we need it to be. But how cute is that little heart? That was really quick and easy. So now what we're going to do is make the actual cup cozy that we can sew this onto. But like I said earlier, um, you could use this applique uh, as an applique on a hat or a scarf or something as well. You don't have to have it just as an applique on your cup cozy. So I'm gonna grab some Aran yarn and we are going to go on to making the cup cozy next. All right, with Aran yarn or any color really, I'm going to start off with a slip knot. So I showed you how to do that earlier in this tutorial. And we are still using the same size hook, that G hook there. And for this cup cozy, we are going to chain 34 or you can chain any even number that will fit around the cup you are going to use. So I'm going to chain 34 and then I will meet you up when we go on to round one. All right, I have my 34 chains. So what you could do at this point is just wrap this around a mug or a cup um, that doesn't have handles, so like your travel mug, and make sure that this fits around it. And if it's a little too small or a little too snug, you can chain a couple more. Um, but just make sure your foundation is an even number. And then once you have that done, you can bring this around without twisting this here. We are going to come around just like this we did for the heart, okay? But now we're going to work in continuous rounds. So instead of slip stitching into this first chain right here, we're going to be single crocheting in there. And I'm also going to be working in the back loops of, or the back uh, ridges of this chain. So I'm gonna turn this toward me and work in that back ridge right here. And we're gonna actually single crochet into this first chain here. So instead of um, yarning over and pulling through both of these loops. We're going to yarn over and pull through the first loop there. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through two loops. And that is a single crochet. Okay, now what we're going to do is chain one. So yarn over, pull through. And we're going to skip the next chain here. And we're going to single crochet into the chain after that. And we're going to repeat that all the way around this chain. So chain one, skip one chain, and single crochet into the next chain. Then chain one, skip one chain, and single crochet into the next chain. And do that all the way around, and then when I get back to the beginning, I'll meet you up and I'll show you how to go on to round two. All right, I'm just coming back to the beginning here. I just have to skip this chain and single crochet into this one here 
And then chain one, we're gonna skip this last chain. There should be one chain left. We're gonna skip that one. And we're gonna skip this single crochet stitch. This is the first single crochet stitch right there. Okay, try not to twist anything. Make sure everything is not twisted. And you can see that there will be a little bit of a ridge here, but we'll get rid of that later. We're going to work in continuous rounds and we're going to hop into this chain one space right here after. So there's a, a chain here we're going to skip and this single crochet here we're going to skip. We're going to go into this chain one space and we're going to single crochet into there. Just like that. Then we're going to chain one and skip this next stitch and single crochet in the chain one space. And that's what we're going to do now. Just chain one and single crochet in the next chain one space. Then chain one and skip this stitch, go into the next chain one space and make a single crochet. And we're just gonna do that for rounds two through 14 or however um, long or however tall you want your cup cozy to be. You can do 16 rounds, 18 rounds or 20 rounds even, that's going to be a pretty big, um, pretty tall <laughs> cup cozy, but totally up to you. Uh, I'm going to do that continuous rounds, and you'll see here, your beginning of your round is where your little straggler is, so you really don't even need to put a stitch marker or anything, your straggler kind of will uh, give you a guide of where your beginning of your round is, or you can just count every round, uh, totally up to you, but I am going to just do this now until I finish round 14 and once I'm finished with round 14 I'll meet you up we'll fasten this off and uh, we'll be able to sew the heart onto our cup cozy all right I just finished round 14 here when you are done this is what your piece should look like now you can see where my guide was the um, beginning of my rounds here was right here and if you go all the way up we're going to chain one and in the very last space here we're going to go in and we're going to slip stitch so yarn over pull through and pull through the loop on your hook okay and then we're going to chain one to fasten this off we're going to cut our yarn and then we're going to pull that all the way through and pull it tight just like that now this part down here we need to kind of get rid of this little nick here, this little gap. We're going to grab our yarn needle, yarn our needle with that, and we're going to go down into the stitch right down here and kind of just wrap it around and just keep wrapping our yarn. And then all we have to do is just weave in this end just like that up underneath these stitches hidden behind all of the stitches and then stretch it out hide what's ever under there and if you need to if you have a little extra hanging out you can just not drop your scissors <laughs> sorry about that drop my scissors <laughs> grab your scissors and cut that extra and there it is perfect you can't even tell, really. Then on the top here, you can do the same thing, just weave in this end real quick. And then we can grab that heart and sew that on. Um, I'm just going to weave in this end real quick underneath these stitches. Stretch it out, make sure it's hidden, and trim any extra. All right. Now you can kind of stretch it out if you want to put it around your cup cozy or around your cup, make sure it fits around there. But there that's so simple and easy. You can make a bunch of these just plain. But I'm going to grab the heart now and position that on here where I want it. I'm going to take this small straggler, a short straggler, and sew it in underneath the, the stitches of the heart real quick, just behind here and just weave that in in the back and then trim the extra just like that perfect now just position this heart where you want it if you want it you know off to the side like if you want it like on an angle if you want it straight on that's totally creator's choice and you can decide how you want that on there but I'm just gonna yarn my needle with that long strand that we cut when we 
fastened this heart off. I'm sticking my hand inside of the cup cozy so I don't sew the cup cozy closed. <laughs> and we're just going to go in the cup cozy and then out the stitches of the heart. And we're just going to do that all around this heart. Okay, just like that. <clears throat> so I'm just going in and then I'm going into both layers and then coming back out the heart and pulling. Okay, and making sure that it's straight. If you needed to, you could also pin this down onto your cup cozy so that it doesn't move or if you have your hand kind of on it to kind of just guide where your needle needs to go that's fine too really creator's choice so that's basically it so um, I'm just gonna make my way all the way around the edge of this heart here and then once I'm ready to fasten this off I'll meet you back up and show you how to do that next all right, when you come all the way back around, you just want to end on the inside of the cup cozy here, just like that. Flip this to the inside, and we are going to tie this off. So just go underneath a couple of the stitches, okay? Keep your finger in that loop, and then just come back through that loop and tie a little knot. And you can do once or twice. I'll do it twice for peace of mind, basically. And come back through that loop and pull tight. And then to sew in this end, we're just going to go underneath in between the two layers. Okay, not going all the way through, but just between the cup cozy and the heart, just like that. And then I'm just going to trim any extra. And there you have it. The open heart cup cozy is complete. Oh, it's so pretty. So you could just have this on your travel mug and uh, you know, drink your coffee in style. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. That was a lot of fun and quick and easy to make. So um, make sure to share your um, cup cozy photos on Facebook and Instagram, hashtag Yarn Utopia. I'd love to see what you have around your mugs and uh, let me know what you're drinking. If you're drinking chai or coffee or some type of uh, herbal teas or something. I'd like to know. I'm a big tea drinker, so I like to drink tea. All right. Thanks, everyone. Until next time, happy hooking!